the title of the collection again, The World as We Know It is Falling Away. And that is a reference to St. Paul, 1 Corinthians 731. And uh, the poem uh, from which you, uh, the poem in which you use this reference is Eschaton Song. Eschaton Song. The world as we know it is falling away. Shout the good news in the dark cafe, at the little league game, at the shopping mall, in the barn, in the boardroom, at city hall. The world is falling away. The loss is nothing at all. Give up the old striped cat on your bed, the blast of July on your bare head, the child's glare, the woods in September, the rage whose reason you can't remember. Leave those last words unsaid. Damp your flame to an ember. Relinquish the spotless homes and your debts, your chocolate, your wine, and your cigarettes, the nameless fears that siphon sleep, all things that seem as if they'll keep. This isn't as good as it gets, but the getting won't come cheap. Abandon despair, abandon delight, the high moon through the blinds at night, gin and tonics on the deck at four, the long kiss, the slammed door. Unlearn your appetite for this lovely tug of war. Let go of lust and pride and treasure, relentless longing, fleeting pleasure. Release the few things you do well. Meanwhile, death is going to hell. Death is going to hell to stay. The world is falling away. Uh, this uh, this pairs well with the opening poem in Love Like a Conf Conflagration, Mikael. It's got the same, you know, apocalyptic kind of theme to it and a, a certain sort of like uh, confrontational verve uh, <laughs> to it, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, why, why do you call it Eschaton's song? Why song? Well, it's a song. You can hear it. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, in... Um, many in up until very close to my feeling that the song was finished, it didn't have uh, the little two lines um, stanzas in between the four uh, line stanzas. Okay, and so it was really um, had kind of a rocking horse rhythm and a, a nursery rhyme rhythm, and that wasn't quite what I wanted. So I inserted the, the two lines <clears throat> in between each four line stanza and they uh, mirror the rhymes in the four line stanza that they follow. And they're also a foot shorter than the lines in the four line stanza. So that's a little break in the in the hobby horse rhythm. Yeah. And and I could say some things that were different from what I was saying in the four line stanzas. Yeah, I, I think that it makes the poem more reflective that the change in the rhythm. Yeah. Um, right. it, it's sort of like a, a pause and then like an emphasis. It's too, uh, too serious a poem to be to sound like a nursery rhyme. Now, that's that's not entirely bad. But but in this particular, that's shocking when it happens, you know, when you say horrible things that, that sound like a children's song. Um, but it, it just uh, wasn't what I wanted here. The rest, uh, the four line stanzas are, are kind of a litany. And the shorter two line stanzas are, um, are something other, more like a warning or a... Um, they slow down the movement a little bit and then it starts up again. Yeah. Well, there, I mean, there can also be something glib about a, a litany poem, yes. right? Which I think that, that this having those bits in between, uh, like 
introduces a little bit more gravitas to it. Yes. Yeah. That was my hope. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it works. <laughs>